Hi guys, this is Bupin the Tube. Welcome to my channel. A lot of my viewers had the problem of not having the sound after copying the DVD to their windows. And at last I found the solution. I searched for this solution for around two days. I had a video that I copied from a DVD, but if you played in the films and TV, there is no sound. And a lot of people wanted to use the default app of Windows to be able to play it. So I used VLC to convert it and if you play in VLC the sound would work. So if I would open with VLC player you can hear the sound quite clearly from VLC. but with the default app of Windows it doesn't work so I use a lot of softwares I search a lot online I downloaded a Kodak everything I did to be able to bring back the sound to the default app but the solution after so much research was actually getting a software that could help us to convert this video and to convert this video which is around two hours long this video for free without any watermarks or any advertisement or anything so what I found was a, a device or a program called any video converter so type in any video converter in your Google then this page will come up and then if you go to here any video converter free and then this page opens and then click on free download it should automatically start downloading or asking you can see here how many downloads I made to make this to work and this is the best solution best program that you could have so you click save and the download begins then you go to the download folder and the download folder you just play what you downloaded or installed you click yes then you click on install install is pretty straightforward then come you come to your desktop and double click you can check for updates if you want to but I've just recently updated so I don't need to this is how the app looks like or the program you can drag and drop so let's drag and drop so I go back to the folder this was the file I drag and then drop here it recognizes the file format it recognizes whether there was a subtitle or not so we loaded the file next thing to do is to select the output file so you can see you can have different various different outputs what I suggest is to click on here which is video files and then I will suggest you to go with customize mp4 movie so select that uh, this is important to notice basic settings okay uh, video size I recommend you to go with the original one it might be an old size and if you would alter it it might change the shape of your video make it more narrow or more wide so better stick with the original one and by default it is low or normal uh, I think it's a normal quality but I prefer to have a high quality because I don't really care about how big the size can become okay so I'll go with the high quality is up to you to decide so please pay attention to this it's really important just don't go and click convert and then you have other settings for video you have more settings for audio I can leave them just as default and once you're happy with all your settings the video is loaded and it's really straightforward you just click on convert and then all you need to do now is just to wait it will give you some estimation here how much time it might take you need to wait for a while before it can analyze and give you an estimation at the moment it gives me 28 minutes but I think it's gonna be more 
so you can watch the progress but I suggest you to go have a cup of coffee or tea whatever is your preference and then come back once it's done try not to play around too much with your computer while this process is taking place so now the conversion is complete it automatically opens a folder where the conversion is complete so if I now double click on this you can see that the sound is there and that's me who is singing here this guy over here <laughs> so it's working perfect so if this was the only time you wanted to convert and you don't really use this software very often I suggest you to go to your control panel and then you can just easily uninstall that software okay if you feel that like you might use this again and again just this then keep it because I really like this software it's like no no advertisement no nothing obviously I just installed it today let's see some of these programs that come with annoying advertisements in the middle of your other activities so please leave any comments good or bad at the bottom of this video please don't forget to subscribe my aim is to at least to get above 10k so that I could open up more opportunities on YouTube and to become a full-time YouTuber so that I could bring you more quality videos and have my full commitment to YouTube. Thanks guys and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.